You're watching Grim. I'm Rachel Haywire, and I endorse this chaos. Sup. So, I'm reliably informed that I'm terrible at pimping my stuff. So here I am, pimping my stuff. You can buy most of that shit that I make over at post-mort.com. Hope to see you there. Hello lovelies. Uh, a lot of people are under the misapprehension that I am an MRA, a men's rights activist, or a men's human rights activist, which seems to be the preferred term now. I'm not, but I am an egalitarian and I have a lot of concerns about a lot of issues that affect men primarily. Circumcision, educational problems, uh, mental health in particular, obviously, because that affects me, so I've got a vested interest in it. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of things, men's issues, that are simply not being dealt with at all. And because they get so little concern and because the reaction when you bring them up is generally extremely negative, I think it's all the more important that people do speak out on those kind of issues. We've had a lot of things happen in recent years around Me Too and Time's Up and all the rest of it. Um, and one of the highest profile sort of accusations, I guess, because of the star power of the people involved, were the accusations against Johnny Depp by Amber Heard. And this seemed fishy from the get-go. Almost all of Johnny's ex-partners came out and said that this didn't sound like the person that they knew. Doesn't necessarily mean anything. A lot of his uh, male compatriots, like Doug Stanhope, for example, came out and said that this was bullshit. Obviously, that doesn't carry much weight. But then <laughs> that's the problem, isn't it? If we say believe women, it's only the women making the accusations that are believed if we say believe women then we're ignoring that we should probably believe evidence instead now a lot of the time it turns out that the accusations were true to one extent or another but in this instance that doesn't appear to be the case and things have started to swing in johnny depp's way and yet we're not seeing anything like as much attention outside of certain circles put onto the fact that he was essentially being gaslit and that he was the victim, a male victim of domestic violence and all of it. It's just not being played up or paid attention to in the same sort of way. And that is a, that is a shame. Now, at this press conference he had recently, um, he did touch on the topic and while he was very slow and very careful and very deliberate in what he said the gist of it put succinctly and <laughs> relatively quickly is that nobody is safe and all it takes at any point is for someone to say one sentence on Twitter and your entire career and everything can be can be thrown out you're, you're tainted that's it it's it's over for you that was the essence of it which is true and it shouldn't be this way right if women weren't being listened to at all in the past then they should be listened to to the extent that there should be investigations not to the extent that the other point of view does not get aired does not get explored that we toss out evidence and we just listen and believe and that we counsel people and we do, I mean, he's, the dude's not going to hurt for money, whatever happens, right? But, you know, he got dropped from various film roles. His career dried up to an extent. You know, there are all sorts of problems involved around this. And all of it really stems from accusations. And there are plenty of other people, the, the great and the good, or the small and the insignificant, who are similarly destroyed in this way because someone said one sentence on Twitter 
and that's that's it that is not justice that is revenge that is not equality that is just changing who's on top and the Depp case being so high profile and seeming so iffy from the start is an exemplar of the problem right we shouldn't believe women we should believe evidence we shouldn't just flatly believe accusations we should investigate them with all due seriousness and attention that's different and we have to return not just in the in the legal sphere but in our social sphere to the idea that someone is innocent until they have been proven guilty so these sorts of consequences shouldn't happen until some basic level of evidentiary proof has been put forward but it's a lot more fun to just destroy people's lives on social media isn't it yeah Zhang. In 1666, the year of miracles, a comet burned across the sky, and in its wake, the dead rose. It is 1667, and the dead have been driven back into hell, saving one place, Whitchester, the cathedral city, now Whitechester, the prison city of the damned. A condemned soul, you have been sentenced to transportation through the gates and into the city of the dead. A death sentence that you intend to defy. Whitechester is an early modern fantasy setting for 5th edition D&D, Grimdark 5th edition, Morkborg, and Lamentations of the Flame Princess, or other OSR compatible systems. The crowdfunder is in its last days. So now is your chance to get on board and to help shape Whitechester, prison city of the damned. You can back it at Indiegogo, igg.me slash at slash Whitechester.